This video is sponsored by OWC. Here are 10 iOS 16 features that Apple didn't really tell us much about or just didn't mention at all. If you're connected to a Wi-Fi network and you have no idea what the password is, well, there's an easier way to find out what that is. You can just go to settings under Wi-Fi, click the info icon next to the network, and you can now see the password, of course, once you authenticate via face or touch ID, and you can even copy it to your clipboard easily. Got a Safari tab you really like that you don't want to lose in the sea of many tabs? Well, just long press on the tab and then select pin. This will now pin that tab to the top so that you have it at all times. Too many duplicate contacts driving you nuts? In iOS 16, you can actually very easily just open the contacts app and let the phone automatically find and suggest which duplicated contacts you need to merge into one. It does it all in one fell swoop and you no longer have to worry about it. Speaking of merging items together, in the Photos app, you can now very easily manage duplicated photos and videos. Just head to Albums, and at the bottom, you'll see a new Duplicate Photos section. Select that and start merging. Your iPhone will automatically keep the highest quality version while getting rid of the rest to your recently deleted album. Now, while we're on the topic of photos, you might have some photos that you don't want everyone to see. I'm not judging, that would be wrong of me to do. We all have some weird photos or even sensitive photos that we want to protect and you can protect it one step further in iOS 16 with Face ID. The hidden album was actually already a feature and if you forget how to do that, just select your photo, tap on the ellipsis icon and select hide. This will then put your photo into the hidden folder, but now by default, it should automatically be protected via Face ID and you'll see a little lock icon next to this album and recently deleted. If this is not enabled, just go to settings, photos, and then select use Face ID. In iOS 16, if you edit a photo and want to apply those same edits to other photos, just go ahead and tap on that ellipsis icon again in the top right corner and select copy edits. Then select another photo, tap on that same icon, and this time select paste edits. It's super simple. In the notes app, you can now use face ID and your device's passcode to lock notes rather than having an individual passcode that you had to remember and type in manually. Just go to a note and tap on the ellipsis icon and then select lock. You can also unlock your phone with face ID in landscape, which I didn't think I needed to do all that often, but it is nice to know that it's now possible. There are also new AirPod settings in iOS 16. First, when you connect your AirPods, you'll now easily find AirPod settings in the settings app at the very top. And there's now a new personalized spatial audio feature within those settings, which I think is pretty cool. And last but not least, if you've ever wanted to have haptic feedback while typing on your keyboard, you can now finally do that and enable it by going into settings, sound, and haptics. And then under keyboard, go ahead and enable haptics. Now, before we end this video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC has tons of products for your Mac, like a wide variety of amazing external SSDs, like this OWC Envoy Pro Electron. This is actually OWC's fastest and toughest mini-sized USB-C bus-powered drive that the company offers, and it's incredibly fast. This drive touts incredible real-world performance due to it being powered by OWC's Aura SSD, offering users up to 1,011 megabytes per second. It's incredibly small and can fit in your pocket it easily, but it's also built like an absolute tank. Even though it boasts a lot of power, it's still super cool under the hood, thanks to that aircraft grade aluminum housing that really helps dissipate the heat. It comes in a few different configuration options ranging from 240 gigs to two terabytes of storage. And so for more information about the Envoy Pro Electron or anything else that OWC has to offer, visit the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.